Alex Bigley here. This is July's edition of Geek Fuel. Let's get it started. Gonna grab my uh, seam ripper here, rip a seam into this sellotape, as is my custom I'm doing every month. All right, let's get this set over here on my little table. Paper, as always, on top. And the first thing on top this time is a little booklet which we will look at later, uh, not because they're spoilers, but just because there might be people in here from, uh, that you may recognize. Uh, for those of you who do not know, or let's go ahead and get this over with in the beginning of the video, like I should be doing the rest of the time, uh, Geek Fuel is a monthly subscription box service filled with all kinds of geeky goodies and, and nerdy nodules um, and other things like that. Uh, they... Often, every single month, there's at least one t-shirt. This was last month. So it's kind of hard to see. It's an alien in the style of the uh, Da Vinci uh, naked guy with six arms. Um, <laughs> and there's always at least one code for a free Steam game. So that's really awesome. So, Geek Fuel. Uh, first item off the thing. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that's kind of a spoiler right there. It's, it's an Aliens Vampirella. Uh, Dark, Horse, Dark Horse Comics Dynamite Comics. Oh, okay, so I guess that's why Dark Horse is still being made, because Dynamite exists. Okay. Um, where my Seam Ripper go? <laughs> so I can't properly take this out of the plastic container of which it is in. Very carefully do that and unfold. We have... Oh, that's pretty cool. I guess that's promoting a uh, comic book coming out. I'll, you know, this is some classic, you know, comic book uh, cover art right there. Really, really cool. Uh, all right. Second item. Let's see what this is. Ooh, this is the Steam code. Burn Star, and they give you Star Candy on the inside, and the codes on the back. I'm not going to show you because I want to try playing it myself. Dang it. Um, Downloadable game and Star Candy. Burn Star is a challenging, fast-paced action puzzler game that puts both your brains and your finger brains to the test. Use explosives to incinerate uh, work sites in installations of Evil Incorporated, an appropriately named corporation intent of, on ruining the homeland of Burnstar and his friends, blaze your own trail, or play co-op for some friendly fire. Now, I will I will say one thing that me, a short amount of the games that I have been, that I've gotten from uh, Geek Fuel here have actually been playable uh, on my little, my little crap top that I have here. Um, I want to say that these are probably going to be very similar to the ones that were in a Mario uh Kind of a Mario thing that was the candy container, I want to say, but uh, find out. I don't know if these are yellow or actually kind of gold. Uh, sort of, sort of, kind of gold. Can't really tell. Camera doesn't do it justice, but oh. Ooh, very powdery. Uh, just taste of sweetness and maybe a faint. Um. Maybe a faint uh, fruit, fruit taste. There you go. Wow, I can't brain today for some reason. Oh! This is mini pint. I was looking at What the heck is this? Some kind of... <laughs> Insert your own joke. Um, now with more souvenir uh, mini pint. This is bottoms up. So, I'm assuming this is a shot glass, which I am. I am all the kinds of... <laughs> it's an eight-man shot glass. All right, you know, um, that's kind of cool. I, I can make use of that. Uh, that is kind of cool. All right, um, ooh, this is nice. Issue number one, Marvel, Secret War, Civil War. Are they just like a mag, ooh, with a certificate of authenticity. Nice. Um, cool. I did, uh, one of the previous Key Field Boxes, there was a Secret Wars issue number one. I guess they're redoing Secret Wars, and now they're redoing Civil War again. I don't know. Uh, I know Secret Wars was something back in, like, what, the 
70s or 60s uh let's say 70s maybe or early 80s uh so now they're doing secret wars uh civil war again okay spoiler captain america dies just you know anyway um <laughs> down to the shirt which uh i am interested uh intrigued is there anything on the back no this is um i guess it's everybody riding bikes and it's yellow and green i, I, I don't know i'm sure that there's a thing right here uh latour geek yellow jersey contest i don't know what that is i'll look i'll, I'll read that to you in a second there's a button uh looks like something possibly from uh I want to say maybe something from oh, it's too much reflection. Something from ah, Firefly. Every man, I, I needed more coffee this morning. That's what happened. <laughs> so you know, this says here there's apparently two different ones. There's a yellow uh, shirt and then there's a the, the sort of oh, is this black or blue? This black shirt with the uh, image on. Let me let me explain what this is as I try to hold it up and make it visible to everybody. Um, let me see. It says, it's always fun to celebrate a friendly rivalry, whether it is on the road to the finish line or on the battlefields at the edges of your imagination. Hop on board with Le Tour de Geek uh, this month and pedal past your friends, lane duds, and our ode to the greatest bike race in the world. It's interesting. Um, I don't get the colors, maybe because Brazil... This is where Tour de France is going on. Was this France? I mean, I would imagine it wouldn't. I, I don't know. Um, I don't know. If it was maybe in more than two colors, I, I might be a little bit more interested in that. Just saying. I hate to poop on anybody's parade with that, but um, shiny button. This is very extremely shiny. Uh, the pin. This is, yes, it is something from Firefly because it's, it's littered with uh, references. Shiny button, because the word shiny for one. Uh, put pin this on your brown coat, channel your inner Mel, and set sail with. No, is it Serenity? Is always a. So maybe that's uh, the Chinese symbol for Serenity. If I'm holding it even upright correctly, I don't even know. It is very shiny. So there's that the Vampirella versus uh, Aliens poster, and in the, the mini pint shot glass. And then the comic book. So. Yeah, uh, some good stuff. I got the, you know, the comic book was good. Oh, let me check the uh, the geek guide right here. The code I will check out at a later date. Um, <laughs> someone someone put the retro style mutagen ooze on their turtle figure, which I'm sure was really fun to clean up afterwards. Uh, let me see what else is in here. Geek guide always put some cool stuff in here. There's like a katana handle gear shift, which is actually kind of cool. Um, now see what I would have said, which would have been um, oh, so they just have like one, one guy as 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 a focus this this month. Okay, that's um, fair. Maybe maybe there's more, and I don't. Maybe I just got maybe that was a particular two page spread on one person, and there's going to be other ones. I don't know. The Burn Star, uh, two page on that one. Now, the figurines in this would have been a little bit better, maybe, than Star Candy, but I'm just, that's just me. <laughs> just me. Okay, here we go. Uh, July's best unboxing video. Okay, so that was a special feature. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you were here, congratulations heavily. As someone who has been in this uh, a few months back, uh, I know how awesome this is for you. So, yeah, definitely, uh, you know, pause the video there, check them out. Uh... See if they have uh, any awesome content, which I'm sure that they do. Uh, let me see what else we have here. Some more things. It says Geeks Going uh, Guide to some Races. Okay, apparently because racing is a thing. That's I don't know anything about sports because, as you can tell, I'm built like a state of martial man, so I'm all about sports, you know. <laughs> um, the Civil War comic. Uh, let me see. Todd Nauk. He's a featured artist. I guess he was a guy who worked on a t-shirt. So that's really cool. And, uh... That's, that's a nice picture. 
<laughs> Hello, Miss America. All right. So, <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, yeah, that's this month. This is uh, July. Uh, I would have figured there might have been some 4th of July, you know, type items in here. Well, maybe that's why you have uh, the Burn Star uh, thing, because that's explosion, so you got the fireworks right there. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I, I, this is the end of uh, July's Geek Fuel. If you've enjoyed it, there are links below. Uh, there's always a drawing every month for a free Geek Fuel box. Also, if you feel inclined to do so, there's a link in the description to sign up for your very own Geek Fuel box. Now, I want to say that if you happen to run the larger size shirts as as I do, and probably most geeks do, uh, it, they do charge a little bit extra. So let's say my 3X shirt, single box subscription is about $30. It's not too bad considering the high quality uh, items you get. Now, I know that there was a poster in uh, the Rival subscription box. Let me tell you something right now. Not even close to the kind of... Uh, quality okay first of all it was rolled up in a cardboard tube and it was so flimsy that you're more than likely to get creases in it before you ever hang it on the wall this is some nice card stock okay that's how a poster should be made even the ones you buy in the store okay should be put on this kind of i have one of the one of the first uh actually from the first geek fuel box i had it was sort of like a funny picture it was supposed to be a funny picture but it was a nice very very well done piece of artwork of a stormtrooper in a in a old fighter plane, and I guess it was supposed to be making fun of the fact that Harrison Ford was in a plane and he got he crashed. So, but it is none. If you take that away from it, it's just a wonderful piece of artwork. I had that hanging on my wall opposite of uh, where I sit right now, right above all the pictures of my dad, uh, a little collage I made after he passed away, and he loved old planes like that. So that's that's sitting up there in a frame. So I mean, that's how good these things are. I mean, the other the other artwork yet yeah, are kind of they're good, but not frameably good. Okay, you're more likely wanting to frame it just so you don't mess it up. This, that's sitting, on, that's up on my wall. That's going to be there until I move, if that ever happens. So, if you want to subscribe, do everything you need to do. Subscribe to Geek Fuel because I'll tell you what right now. Uh, yes, maybe a little nest bit, a little more expensive than your uh, crates or cubes or blocks or whatever else you got. But I'm gonna tell you something right now. Quality is worth it. Uh, that's one thing I, you know, even though, yes, I'm not exactly excited about the shirt for this this month, nor honestly the one from last month, the quality is there, okay? You can't, you can't say that about any of the other subscription boxes out there right now. So even though that they, they it might be items I don't like, you can't deny the quality. So that alone should be enough for you. Uh... Hey, that's just uh, my, my humblest of opinions. I am Alex Bigley, and I will see you January, June, July, August. <laughs> I need more coffee. August. <laughs> Geek Fuel Unboxing. I will see you then. Bye. Obviously, the, the, the crates no longer had enough loot in it for me, so I uh, decided to fuel my inner geek. So with that said, uh, this is for March 2015. I'm not sure if there is a theme. Two lucky winner from Geek Fuel. Congratulations, you have won a free movie ticket to see the Avengers Age of Ultron, courtesy of your friends at Geek Fuel. Be sure to show off your winning Ticket in tag geek fuel has to find more great videos and blogs at manicexpression.com.